Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. Today I want to look at uh, Bobcam for SolidWorks, our turning package. I have a simple example here. Um, gonna kind of go through some of the OD OD machining on this part. I had a request for a video on this. So uh, to kind of start off, I'm gonna go to the top plane and I'm gonna go into a sketch. And uh, there's a couple of things I need to do. I'm, I mean, there may be a, a better way to a, accomplish this, but I'm going to draw these two lines here. And uh, then I'm going to exit my sketch, okay? So I have these two lines here. And then from there, I'm going to set up a coordinate system. And uh, so I'm going to define my uh, x-axis and my z-axis. So going into the part is negative z, and going along the OD is my positive x. Okay, looks good. Now I'll get into the cam side of the software and I'm just gonna reselect uh, my coordinate system here to define uh, my axis and where my zero is, okay? Uh, from there, I'm gonna go ahead and edit my, um, my stock definition. And uh, so I'm going to define what my end of stock is. We'll say minus 4, stock diameter 2.5, no internal diameter, a couple clearance values, but this is all fine, and we'll choose OK. All right, so now we have uh, set up, we've set up our, uh, our stock, we've set up our zero, and let me just hide this. And now we're ready to generate some uh, some toolpath. Actually, you know what? I want to go back and uh, edit edit my stock a little bit. Let's make this uh, 2.75. Okay. So now, you know, unlike the milling the milling software, you have this really nice stock wizard and it automates the process. In the turning side of things, you have to set uh, coordinates. Either your part needs to align with world uh, for X and Z, or you have to define a coordinate system and then pick. Um, pick that coordinate system for your machine setup so you can set zero and align X and Z. Then you edit your stock and define that. And then now you're ready to uh, generate some machining uh, strategies. So in this case, we're gonna do turning uh, rough. And uh, from here, we can do select geometry. So I'm gonna do select geometry. And there's some pretty, uh, pretty neat features that we have here. Um, I am going to pick whole bodies and I'm going to click on this thing and uh, that's what I'm going to work with. And then there's some other options in here, um, section, plane, start angle, intervals of angles between sections. What these options are for, let me get into a rotation, if I, um, If I, what I'm, what it's trying to do is generate a, a section, let's do 10. So you can see the, there are all these sections that are now created and, and what these, uh, what these are used for is if you have like a, like a boss sticking out or a irregular shape or off center shape and you want to find out the OD of the part, you can generate multiple sections and then it will calculate what the OD is. It's a, a very uh, useful feature. I'm thinking like a swept profile is uh, a term that's used in other other systems, but you know, essentially it allows you to create multiple sections and it will find out uh, the OD of the part based off of those sections. In this case, um, we can do one section at zero and we can say 360 because it's just a, all we're doing is grabbing the OD, okay? Uh, there's no irregularity to it. Uh, the next thing that we have is remove first vertical, remove last vertical, and primary region only. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of the first vertical line. I'm going to get rid of the last vertical line, so that will get rid of the line here. And um, it will also get rid of the, the line in the back of the part. In primary region only, um, what this will do, it, there's like an undercut, almost like there was a thread here and a relief, except I don't have a thread drawn in there. Um, but it, it will get rid of that undercut section and, and just uh, come straight across the part and then back. So we're going to do primary region only. We'll check it down. Okay, so we have our geometry set up now. We can come in and uh, edit. So we have can cycles or separate moves. So we'll say can cycles. Um, you have off, 
on with collision detection, on without collision detection. Collision detection is going to look at your insert and holder and make sure it fits in there. Um, if you have system compensation on without collision detection, that will give you tool nose radius compensation without it uh, compensating for the cutter and looking for collision. For this shape here, we have uh, plenty of clearance, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we're going to do a turning rough and finish. I guess you can do just a, a turning rough, you can do a turning rough and finish, you can do a facing rough, facing rough and finish, eh, maybe we'll just rough it, that's fine. Uh, depth of cut value, allowance for Z, allowance for X, stock diameter, all of that's fine. We'll go to our rapids, default rapid is fine. Leans, um, we're going to add an additional lead on uh, Z so it comes in a little bit further off the part. Uh, then we can go into our inserts. Now, with our inserts, you have um, a bunch of standard type inserts for you can for you to choose from. Uh, if you do have a custom insert, you can draw that and uh, create a custom tool. Uh, and we'll have to do another tutorial on that. But it, if you read through the help files, it'll explain how to do that. So, um, max RPM, surface footage. This is all fine, 80 degree, tool nose radius, 5 degree cutting angle, this is fine. Uh, orientation, this is uh, kind of important. Orientation affects whether you're doing left hand, right hand, uh, OD or ID cutting. So a one would just be straight up uh, OD cutting, which is gonna, you're going to run most of the time. Uh, machine information, so your offset number, turret position, home position. Um, you know where where the tools gonna go at home so this is everything looks good here I'm happy with this we're gonna go ahead and choose OK and then now you're gonna see we have our tool path generated uh, to rough out the part and again like I was talking about um, because we did a primary region only it's coming in here and it's just um, it's just running right across the part and, and not uh, trying to dip down into this section uh, because we added the the clearance uh, on the face uh, the 125 now it's coming down uh, the front of the part as well okay so that's just a standard uh, standard uh, roughing routine on this uh, this part here okay so now uh, the next thing that I want to look at doing here is coming in and uh, maybe cleaning up this section okay all right so we have our OD roughing done. Um, you know, let's simulate it. <laughs> Blade simulation. Let's take a look at what's going on. Uh, one of these views here. Run this through. Play it. Didn't look too bad. It's about all the time I have for today's video, but we'll pick this up some more in the very near future. Thank you so much, guys.